dear students welcome today we are going to discuss about supports and reactions one more problem in previous classes uh, we have discussed about supports and reactions or problems simply supported be simply supported beam having a loads simple loads point loads uniformly distributed load uniformly varying load lot of problems but in this problems what is the difference two beams available one upper beam and lower beam the same procedure previous classes we have solved the problem the same procedure first we will consider the upper beam upper beam and then lower beam the same procedure draw the free ball diagram and then apply the equilibrium conditions okay so first we have to draw the consider the free ball diagram of upper beam okay and then apply the equilibrium conditions so first draw the free ball diagram of upper beam it at point b hinge support available so one vertical reaction r v v and one horizontal reaction r v h okay and then 2 meter after at point u resolve the forces horizontally and vertically theta kilo load and acting at inclination 30 degree so 30 cos 30 degree and the downward direction vertical downward 30 sin 30 okay so resolved vertical and horizontally at at point q one only one reaction vertically upward because roller support offer only one reaction vertical upward so the distance dimensions 2 meter This also two meter. Now at equilibrium state condition, apply the equilibrium conditions. Apply equilibrium conditions. What are the equilibrium conditions? Sigma H equal to zero. Sigma H equal to zero. So R V H plus thirty cos thirty. Both are towards right side direction. So positive. Equal to zero. And then sigma V equal to zero. Second condition. Sigma V equal to zero. R V V upward direction positive. R V V Minus thirty sine thirty plus R Q equal to zero. From this equation, R V V plus R Q equal to thirty sine thirty. Thirty sine thirty equal to fifty. So R V V plus R Q equal to fifty. Value fifty. Take this as equation one. Take this as equation one. Now, equilibrium condition sigma m v equal to zero. Algebraic sum of moment of all the forces about point v equal to zero. Sigma m v equal to zero. So thirty sine thirty into two clockwise direction positive thirty sine thirty into two. Clockwise direction, positive, and then R Q into four, negative direction. R Q into four. So only two forces having moment, perpendicular distance. Thirty sine thirty into two R Q into four, equal to zero. So from that we have to find the R Q value. From that four R Q equal to. Thirty sine thirty into two equal to thirty. So four R Q equal to thirty. 
from that RQ equal to 7.5 kN. RQ equal to 7.5 kN. Okay, RQ equal to 7.5 kN. Next, apply the equilibrium con uh, uh, conditions in lower beam. Let's draw the free bar diagram of lower beam. Consider the lower beam next case. So, upper beam over next lower beam. Lower beam. So, in this case also draw the first draw the free bar diagram of lower beam. So, at P, point P, roller support, R, P, only one reaction, roller support offer, only one reaction, so R, P. And then next, already we know the value R, Q. So, action of the beam, lower beam on upper beam. So, reaction downward direction, R, Q. Q equal to 7.5 km. Already we know. So, 1 meter after at point R, this one Q, P, Q, R, and S at point S, one point load available 25 km. Okay, how to convert UDL into point load? Already we know UDL into point load. Total load into distance. So 20 kN position total distance divided by 2. So same position 20 kN available. 10 into 2, 20 kN. At point T, at point T, RT V and RTH because Hinge support. Hinge support offer two reactions. The distance one meter, one meter, one meter, one meter. So total distance, length of the beam four meter. So each point position one meter. Okay, each point position one meter. Now apply the equilibrium conditions. Sigma H equal to zero first. Sigma h equal to 0. What are the horizontal forces? RTH equal to 0. No other horizontal forces available. Only one horizontal force. RTH equal to 0. RTH equal to 0. And then sigma v equal to 0. Second condition. Sigma v equal to 0. RP. Upward direction. Positive. Minus RQ. Minus 20 minus 25 plus RTV equal to 0. Okay. RP upward direction positive. RQ downward direction negative. So RQ equal to already we know the 7.5. So write 7.5 directly. 7.5 kilo And 20, 25 downward direction and RTV upward direction. So from that RP plus RTV equal to 52.5 RP plus RTV equal to 52.5 Take this as equation 2 Now the third equilibrium condition Sigma MP equal to 0 Sigma MP equal to 0 So 7.5 into 1 7.5 into 1 clockwise direction and then 20 plus 25, 45 minus minus 45 into clockwise direction. So positive, sorry, positive. 45 into 3, 3 meter. 45 into 3. And RTV into 4. RTV into 4. Anti-clockwise so negative. RTV into 4 equal to zero. 7.5 into 1, 45 into 3, RTV into 4. 
From that, you got to find the value. RTV equal to what? RTV equal to 35.63 kilometer. From that, RTV equal to 35.63 kilometer. 35.63 kilometer. Now substitute the RTV value in equation 2, find the value RP, substitute RTV in 2, find the value RP, RP equal to 16.87 km, 16.87 km and then next how to find the value RVV. How to find the value RVV? Substitute RQ in this equation. Find the value RVV. What is the value? RVV. So RV from the First, this equation RVH equal to 25.98 km. Okay. So, from that RVV equal to 7.5 substitute the value rq in equation 1 find the value rvv RVV equal to 7.5 km. Substitute RQ in this equation, find the value RVV. RVV equal to 7.5 km. So, what are the results? So, write the results separately, the reactions available. RVV equal to where is RVV? 7.5 km and RVH equal to 25.98 km and then RQ equal to 7.5 km and then RP equal to 16.8 km and then RTV equal to 35.63 km. RTH equal to 0. So, write the results separately. What are the reactions available in the uh, supports and reaction of two beams? Roller support and hinge support available. Right? Write the results separately. Reactions available on the beam supported by hinge and roller support. Dear students, if you like this video, Share it to your friends and subscribe our channel for continuous mechanical lecture series. Thank you.